On this video, I'm going to discuss about IELTS Academic. So we received a question that, Sir, can I use my academic IELTS on Express Entry or PNP or AITP? So that's our question for today. Can we use the academic IELTS result for your Express Entry, for your AITP or your for PNP or Provincial Nominee? So that's our discussion on this video. But before we begin our discussion, I just want to share our video last week. Ayan guys, so kukuha tayo ng part sa kanilang pizza. It's like Costco, no? For me, mas parang yung Costco. So ito guys, yung wholesale direct. So usually mga bulk order ay ano, mga malalaki. Mura siya eh, kasi ito, family size, is $2.97. Samantalang sa Atlantic Superstore, nasa parang $4 na rin yun. Mm -hmm. Yung Pringles. Yeah. Parang mahal. Mahal laki kasi, mega size yun. Para may $1.97 pag sale. Ito naman guys, mga soy sauce, ayan, may maggi, may patis, squid, fish sauce, yan na. So usually, I think maganda talaga ito sa mga restaurant. Actually, uh, sabi nila, most of the restaurants dito sa Halifax, most of the restaurants dito sa Halifax, dito sila nag-shopping kasi nga, nandito halos available na kanilang mga needs. Ang mga malalaki, no? Hot pepper? Hot pepper. Ayan. Mga en bufo, no? Mga pang restaurant, no? Ayan, no? Nangkita yung gano'ng kalaki. Yung ketchup. Mga malalaki. Yung Pringles. Ayan, guys. And of course, the rice. Ayan, yung rice. Yung rice. Bumili ako dito guys ng rice. Yung rice dito is 17.98. Mura siya ng $2. Mami, mura ng $2 dito. So, whenever that you're going to buy rice dito, yung roast, uh, roaster, Price is $17.98. So usually it's $19.99. And guys, on this side is the frozen goods. Mga frozen pepperoni, appetizer, chicken fingers. And of course here, mga frozen pa rin. So, ayan guys, one thing na kailangan nyo tatandaan is pupunta kayo sa wholesale club. Magdala po kayo ng eco bag or plastic bag or any bag. Kasi ito ay... Ito ay chura nyo. Wala yung bag! So, it's a good, good thing that at least you can save... Um, pero kung wala kang kotse, magpapas ka! Good luck! So that's my reminder. So imagine, kung pupunta ka sa bus, eto yung dadalin mo sa bus, malakang eco bag. Oh nga. So yun. And bakam pupunta dito ng walang one dollar. Oh, pupunta ka dito guys, mga kap, pupunta ka sa hosel, hosel club. Make sure you have an eco bag and make sure you have a loony. Kasi hindi ka makagamit ng 
a card without the one dollar. So that's so that's the video last week. But anyway, I hope you like the video. I hope you like this video. Press the like button. Share this video to your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. If you're asking, if you currently have an academic academic IELTS, you have an academic IELTS, for whatever reason you took the academic IELTS, unfortunately, you cannot use this for immigration because it's clearly stated in Canada.ca, the official website, that only, only general training. So if you're planning for express entry, for provincial nominee, or for AIP, or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, the language test that they will acknowledge is IELTS General Training. So if you have an IELTS academic result, you need to take another exam, which is the General Training they will never acknowledge your academic even though you get uh, quadro 9 or every component is 9. Even though you have a good result, they will never consider your academic because it's clearly stated only general training. So I hope guys that this video able to answer your questions. So if you have questions, feel free to comment it in the comment section and of course, if you find it informative, please share this video to your friends, to your family. And of course, I would like to invite you to join our forum. It's Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. So see you guys again in our next video. Bye-bye.